Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is ovulation induction and how is it useful in solving infertility? Let's try to break it down into easy steps. Ovulation induction can be divided into three steps. First is stimulation, second is control, third is egg release. So stimulation, as the word suggests, is where medications are given for egg or eggs to grow inside your ovaries. These medications could be tablets, could be hormonal injections. All these are given so that the egg grows the right size. Now, stimulation has to begin on the second or third day of your period if you're going for an IVF cycle. But in an ovulation induction or IUI, it's a little more flexible. Even if you're between day two to day five also, you can still begin your ovulation induction. The second step is called as the control step. Now, this control as Again, the name suggests it's uh, trying to control the egg growth and the entire procedure of ovulation so that we can decide on when the egg ovulates and when there will be sperms present for it to be fertilized. So under control, there are USG, uh, ultrasonography scans done, there are blood tests done. All these give us the right idea about the growth of the egg. Is it according to the dosage that we are giving? Is it according to the, the cycle the period date that you are on? All those things are assessed. The third Third is egg release. Egg release is a very critical stage of the entire ovulation induction procedure. Egg release involves giving you an injection of HCG, human chorionic gonadotrophin. And we expect that the egg will ovulate or release from the ovary into the tube in the next 36 hours. Now you understand why it's very important because after that you can plan the treatment that we set out to do. What could the treatment be? It could either be timed intercourse where you try on your own, the couple tries on their own or IUI, intrauterine insemination. Therefore, ovulation induction, if divided into these three parts, is easier for patients to understand and to follow. When I say follow, I mean that whenever your fertility specialist calls you for stimulation drugs, they do that because they want to understand if the dose is correct and, it's, and the growth of the egg is going fine. Control is also very important. Ultrasonographies and blood tests have to be done when your doctor is uh, wanting them so that depending on the results, they can decide if the dosage, the growth of the egg, everything is going fine. The third is egg release. That's also very critical because when the egg reaches about 18 to 20 mm is when your doctor decides to give you this injection to release the egg. Therefore, these three steps are very important. If you want to understand more about ovulation induction, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.